Hi, and welcome to Crystal Triggs Ministries. I'm excited. You know why? Today is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Say it with me. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. What a joy, honor, and a privilege for you to invite me into your homes today. Hallelujah. I know there's so much going on with a pandemic raging out there. But you know what? We got to keep in mind, we serve a big God. And you know what, guys? I have been commissioned. Of course, you can tell that I've been commissioned to go into the world and preach the good news, the good news of Christ. And as I was preparing to come before you today, I said, Lord, what am I going to say to the people? your people. I began to pray and the Lord gave me humility. So, um, a little bit about me. I am from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And um, as an adult uh, learner, um, a student, um, I attend the Mid-America Christian University. Um, which is a Methodist West Lane. And so the Bible that I have, I'm going into that to tell you guys, make sure I'm excited about this new year, guys. This is my first broadcast ever. I'm excited. And before we delve deep, let me tell you some things that you need uh, before I even uh, begin with that. Um, I too myself was affected with COVID and, um, I praise God that he brought me through it and I am COVID free. No more COVID. Hallelujah. Um, and, but I would like to send prayers out to those who I know have family members that may be suffering from COVID, um, that may have people even who they know that passed away and, and died from COVID. And um, God, we just um, come before you today, two or three or more, and, 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 and are gathered. And God, here you are in the midst, Lord. And uh, uh, Father, we thank you that your hand is upon these people. You touch their tender hearts, God, as they uh, uh, grieve and mourn, God. Um, um, God, I thank you, Lord, that you give us answers, God. And, and when we pray to you, Lord, you give us answers. And so, God, I thank you, Lord, that only you know. Only you know, only you know, God, why you do a thing. Only you know, God. And God, I thank you that you give these families peace, God. And so, um, just wanted to say a quick prayer. And um, for those people who have been affected by the uh, pandemic. Um, so a few materials, um, if you're going to tune in with me, that you should have always, always, always get a notebook. Um, doesn't matter what kind of notebook. This is my notebook. This is my journal, my notebook. I have several different journals and notebooks um, that I keep different things, different quotes, different inspirations from different people um, when God opens up my heart to receive. Um, I am... Um, was speaking about a Bible, make sure that you get, you know, a Bible. This is the Bible um, that I'm studying from here. Um, this year is the um, uh, the Wesley Study Bible. Um, as I was explaining to you earlier um, uh, and things of that nature, as I was explaining that that is um, kind of my background now as an adult, um, the religion that I practice and I study from. Um, yes, guys. Yes, we are at a new year. You are here and God has called you. God has called you to be watching this right now. So get ready to receive. Get ready to receive, receive, receive. Um, I'm also a positive motivator. Um, I know many times we get saved, um, as individuals, regardless of what it is that brings us to the cross to get to know the Lord. And um, sometimes we leave it there, you know, 
Um, for me, I've been in church my entire life. Um, God and religion has always been a part of who I am. And um, I know for some of us as believers, when we come, we don't know, you know, how to put this thing. We have a lot of questions and we don't know how to put this thing, if you will, into motion. Um, I want to help guide you. I want you to stay positive about the good news of the Lord. Um, let me see if anything else is on my heart here. Um, but I love this letter we'll, we'll start with um, in Philippians. If you want to go ahead and get your Bible out and your notebook out, pen and get ready. Um, we will be um, looking in Philippians today. Um, Philippians 2, 5 through 11. Hallelujah. I hope you guys have godly goals and we're going to execute those goals and we are going to make those things that God has placed in our minds. We, we are going to uh, bring those things to pass through, through scripture and the word of God. Hallelujah. And so um, Paul wrote this letter to the Philippines. And um, in my Bible, as I, I when I was studying what I got here, what I received here in in my scripture in the Bible that I'm reading, I thought was very interesting and very helpful. Um, I know uh, in times like this, it's hard sometimes to stay humble. It's it's hard sometimes to keep our faith up. We don't know, you know, where the world is going, what direction, you know, but we always have a guide in, in Christ. We always have a guide in Christ. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and read the beginning of what I have here in my Bible. And again, it doesn't matter what version that you're following from, but um, among and this is in Philippians, the beginning of the Bible that I'm reading from. Among Paul's letters to Philippians, Bess illustrates Wesley's often repeated characterization of the Christian life as both happy and holy. Mm, happy and holy. You know, sometimes when God calls us to do a thing, we step out on faith. And when we step out on faith, um, we don't know in what di we have one direction that we believe God is guiding us, but we don't know in what direction. So please take notes because what we're going to end up doing is finding out exactly um, through this time that God has blessed me to be among you to find out um, those of you who will continue to follow me to find out um, exactly where it is that God is getting ready to take us uh, because if I know God and the history that I have with God, he's taking us somewhere. So happy and holy. Write that down. Chained in a Roman prison, Paul nevertheless overflows with joy as he thanks his friends in Philippi. You can see Acts 16 for a cross reference. For the aid he has conveyed to him on their behalf. The apostle summons them to rejoice together with him. For united to Christ by faith, they are all members of God's people, God's common wealth. Write that down. They are all, he said, rejoice. They are part of all are a part of God's people, God's common will. Write that down. God is at work powerfully among them as they labor together with Paul in the ministry of the gospel through prayer, witness, and giving. And they share Paul's firm hope that just as they now participate in Christ's sufferings, 
so too they will one day share in Christ's glorious resurrection. Paul urges them as the recipients of God's grace. Ooh, that's something there. A recipient of God's grace. To live as a community in a manner worthy of the gospel. Mm. In a manner worthy of the gospel. Indeed, joy and worthy living go hand and hand. Woo! Write that down. Joy and worthy living go hand in hand. Boy, I'm excited. I'm excited. I am excited. Joy and worthy living go hand in hand. Wesley observers. It is not impossible in the nature of things that a person should be happy who is not holy. I'm going to say that one more time. It is not possible the nature of things that a person should be happy who is not holy. Such holiness, Paul teaches, is the furthest thing from a pious moralism that withdraws from encouragement with the world. Rather, holiness means sharing the mind. Please write that down. Holiness means sharing the mind. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. That was in Christ. Sharing the mind. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. That was in Christ. That is living in, living out the pattern of Christ's self-giving, love, and trusting obedience to God. By serving one another, part participating together in the work of the gospel. Hallelujah. So there was a few things within the beginning of the letter that Paul had wrote to Philippians. Um, there was a few things. Happiness, holiness, commonwealth, God's people, sharing together. Um, self-giving, trusting, obedience. All those are strong things to move from. Very, very strong things to move from. But in my personal journey, um, as I walk with Christ, um, uh, I have found that, um, keeping a positive mindset is one of the difficult things. And um, sometimes we believe there's no antidote because um, we don't really believe. Whew, I'm gonna hit somebody right there. Um, see, we don't really have faith enough to believe that we can have a positive mindset. You know, some of us don't have faith enough to believe that we'll get a break in life. Some of us don't have really the faith enough um, to have our mind be geared toward positive thinking. You know, positive thinking is pretty much um, beatitudes. Beatitudes in Christ, if you know something about Beatitudes. But I would like to call it a specialty of mine. I'm claiming it right now with the name of Jesus before the world. Having that positive mindset that Christ can move us from one level to the next has been something that we've struggled with for decades. Changing the mindset. 
going back to the original mindset. Letting this mind be that is in Christ Jesus. We need to change our mind. Post, pre, over, here, now, there, anywhere pandemic. We must change our mind. Now, a lot of the times, you know, it's in a specific area. And, you know, as I was dealing with, um, as I am still an adult learner, um, as God has really started dealing with me, um, as he's been dealing with me my whole life with my calling, what I'm called to as I tug, as I fought, as I wrestled, um, as I detoured, you know, um, this here is not a specific area. Because a lot of the times, you know, we find ourselves and we say, um, I have a specific area that God needs to do. And that's fine and dandy. That's fine and dandy. But um, this mindset change is overall. It's overall. And to see the things that God has for us, we must change. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We must change our minds. Yes, Lord, yes, 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 Lord. You know, I'd like to stop right there. I may not be your traditional uh, minister uh, bringing the word of God, but I'd like to stop right there. And I'd like to say, God, thank you for a changed mind. A changed mind. God, begin to change my mind, no matter my age, no matter my stage, God. No matter my issue, Lord. Begin to change. Let's do a changed, a changed mind in Christ. God, we begin to thank you. We walk it out by faith. Now that is done. You said that prayer with me. I look at you. That is done. It's a changed mind. Hallelujah today, God. Hallelujah today. We're going to have a changed mind. And so for us to get to that next level of who God called us to, it's hard for us to change our minds. Oh. And so as we begin, we're going to go ahead and... Um, Kind of walk this thing out. This won't be an ending thing today. I'm before you once a week. I'm before you once a week. And we'll go through this thing together. We'll begin to change our minds together. There is an antidote. There is an antidote for that negative mindset. There is an antidote. And it is in the scripture. It is in the word of God. And if you want to change your mind today, if you want your mind to be changed, if you want the mind of Christ to be in your mind so you can innovate, so you can do the things that God has called you to do, so you can be a problem solver. You want to be a mover and shaker. You want to do the things that God has called you to do. You'll ask God to change your mind and you'll come walk with me as God walks us through the antidote <laughs> because he has all the answers. And if God said it, <laughs> if it's here in the scripture, <laughs> so it be, so be it. So it be, so be it. Hallelujah. Oh, this is awesome. Say it with me today. We're going to get it here. God's going to change my mind. God's going to change my mind. Say it. God is going to change my mind. I'm going to be changed by the word of God through scripture. He's got to change my mind first. <laughs> because I believe what I see. I believe what I hear. 
I know God can do it. I feel he brought me to this channel because he's going to change your mind today. When he changes your mind, he's going to change you to glory, to glory, to glory. By faith, by faith, by faith, by faith. <laughs> he's got to change your mind. And sometimes changing your mind may be mean. Oh, excuse me. Sometimes changing your mind may mean healing your mind. He's going to heal your mind today. He's going to heal your mind today. Say it. God's going to heal my mind today. Hallelujah. <laughs> He's going to do it. The joy of the Lord. Yeah. What is that all over me? Say it with me. He is all over me. Hallelujah. And he's keeping me alive. You want some of that? You want some of that joy? He's got to change your mind today. <laughs> Hallelujah. God's going to change your mind today. Again, what an honor. What a joy, what a privilege it's been to come before you today. We didn't get too heavy as I'm introducing myself again. My name is Crystal Triggs. This is Crystal Triggs' ministry. We are going to change our minds. We're going to have the mind of Christ. I'm so excited. I am excited. It's going to be so powerful, elevated. The things that God is going to show you. The things that God is going to do in your practical lives. Post, pre, op, there, here, never here, pandemic. God's going to do it. He's your strength. He's your joy. God's going to do it. God's going to do it. Hallelujah. If you want to get in touch with me. Um, my actual, um, email right now, my email right now would actually be the, the best way. Um, if you need prayer, uh, you say you want to change mindset because that's where God is taking us. Um, you know, um, we'll continue this on next week at two 30. Um, again, I've been commissioned. I've been commissioned. I've been commissioned to come to you to help you. I have been commissioned to come to you as a vehicle to bring the good news. But God said first, we're going to change our mind. We're going to change the way we see things. The way we do things. Hallelujah. We have to change the way we see things. Glory to God. Emmanuel, he's with us. Now you guys go on. You go on with your week in your mind. I'm going to have the mind of Christ. The mind that was in Christ, it's going to be within me. I'm going to do exceedingly, abundantly, above anything I could even ask or think. That right there just messed you up. If that shook you up right there, just to say, I'm going to do exceedingly, abundantly, above anything I could see, think or dream. If that messed you up right there, it's time to change your mind. It's time to change your mind because God has called you. He's commissioned you to go out into all the world and proclaim the good news of the gospel. Say, I'm going to have a changed mind today. I'm going to walk by faith, not by sight. I'm going to have a changed mind today. I'm going to do those things that God has called me to do. I'm going to have a changed mind today. I'm going to have a changed mind. 
no matter what it looks like, no matter what I'm going through. God has called me to greater. I'm going to have a changed mind. That thing hit me hard. It hit me hard. But you know what? God is with me. I believe I'm going to have a changed mind. My bank account may not look like what it says that God has called me to and who it says that God says I am. But you know what? If God says it, I'm going to have a changed mind. You know what? Instead of doing it this way, I'm going to do it this way. I've changed my mind. Don't let a pandemic take you out. Don't let anything ever take you out. But the Lord himself, because that's the only person that can take you out. Hallelujah today. Let this mind. Let this mind be. <laughs> Let it be changed. I'm going to think more like Christ. I remember those bands they used to wear around their arms. What would Jesus do? We're going to walk this thing out. It doesn't matter. Yes, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Yes, the joy, the joy of the Lord, he's my strength. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Come on. The joy of the Lord is my strength. All change to become more like him. Yeah, the joy of the Lord is my strength. I'll change to be more like he. Joy of the Lord is my strength. I will change to be more like he. I will change to be more like he. I will change. I will change. I will change to be more like he. Yeah, the joy of the Lord is my strength. I will change to be more like He. All right, guys, two thirty. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I will change to be more like He. Change my mind. I change my mind. I change my mind. I change my mind to be more like he change my mind change my mind change my mind to be more like him all oh, the joy of the lord is my strength thank you for tuning in till next time joy of the lord is your strength